Welcome to another video on data to decisions. In today's video, we'll be building this line chart where you can set the upper limit and the lower limit, and then it will automatically color the data points which are above and below, right? So for example, right now it's set to 7,000 is the upper limit. So you can see any data point above 7,000 are green, and then anything below 5,000 is red. So what if I wanted to change the upper limit to be 7,500, and now you'll see some points which were green, no longer green because the limit has changed. So now you can dynamically move the lines as well as color the data points which are above the upper limits or below the lower limits. This can be done very, very quickly and easily in Microsoft Excel. That's what we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. So let's start with some basic uh, raw data, monthly sales. This is what we're going to deal with. So I'm going to select them, insert, and then go to like good markers. So this gives us the basic line, but what we need is these other series. So first we want to make sure that we have a, an upper limit and then a lower limit. And in order for us to make it more dynamic, so let's enter the upper limit here as 7,000, but this is the cell where you will be entering the upper limit. And this is where we will be entering the lower limit. And you can modify that anytime. So the simple thing is the upper limit is nothing, but it's a constant line. So I'm going to say equals and then point to D3 and press F4 will lock it and then hit enter. So now just drag it along. It's just a series of 7,000. Similarly, you can do this, click here, lock it, and then you will have this. Very simple. Now we can go ahead and add that to the um, chart. So go right click, select data add a series and the first series let's say we want to do upper limit so i'm going to click on that select the values for the upper limit which will be these and then press ok add another series for the lower limit so choose the values for that as well press ok the horizontal they all the month abbreviation so i'm going to select them so now you have those lines but obviously these this is not the formatting we want to go for add plus symbol legend to the top. So now we have the legend to the top. So the red is the sales, yellow is the upper, green is the lower. Right click sales, format data series, and let's make this a solid line, uh, maybe a lighter blue, uh, not as thick. And then for the markers, I'm going to go marker, let's uh, be a circle. Um, and I will do a solid fill of, um, uh, yeah, I think we can do uh, light blue itself. So let's do light blue uh, and then do a border with a little bit of a darker blue. So there you go. So now we have the sales line done. Now let's format the upper limit. So I'm going to right click on that series. And here for the fill and line, uh, I want it to be a solid line, but I want it to be thin. So I'm going to reduce the thickness or the width. And then I want it to be a dashed type, like something like this. So let's take a look at it. And okay, it still has markers. So I'm gonna right click on the data series and then go marker and choose none. This makes sure that there is no marker, it's just a line. This is exactly the formatting that we want for the other one also. So I'm gonna right click on format data series, um, solid line, um, and I think I'll change, not change the color, but make it thin uh, and then do a dash type. And then marker, I'm going to say no marker. So that gives us these two lines. Awesome. Let's just change the grid lines. Right click format grid lines, solid line, make it thin. There we go. So now it is coming together as a chart. I'm going to click on the chart, do a quick border. This is optional. This makes it look different. Um, but now the important part of this video is. Now you actually can, you can change the line. So if I want to make it 8,000, you will see that the line moves, the upper limit moved. And if I want the lower limit to be 6,000, I can make it move. So that is not a problem. That is already working for us. Now, what we need to do is to add those, uh, you know, green color and the red color when they are above or below these limits. Now for that, I'm going to add another series, let's call it above, and I'll write a simple formula to say if this value, the sales value, is greater than the upper limit, then, uh, greater than or equals, let's do equals, 
Okay, no equals. Then show me the C5, which is the original value. Otherwise, do N A open parenthesis, close parenthesis, close. Okay, let's look at the formula again. If the sales value is greater than or equal to the upper limit, then give me back the sales value. Otherwise, give me NA. So let's enter. I'm going to drag this. And now you will see that it populates only where the value is greater than or equal to 7,000. Let's build another series for below. Very similar concept. If the sales value is less than the lower limit, then give me C5 else n a okay now let's drag this along so now we have everything we need so it automatically only populates for months where the value is less than the lower limit great now let's add that to the chart right click select data add a series this let's just use the above name and then this okay another one below and this time we're going to select the below series values okay uh, for category access it's still the month abbreviation great and now it's not the, the the look that we went for but again all the data is there but let's look at understanding what this above series go to series above and do you want a line for the series? No, we don't want a line. So I'm going to hit no line. I just want the markers to be green color. So no line, go to marker, and then it is going to be circle. But if you want it slightly bigger, you can click on, you know, change the size of the maximum points. And then for the fill, I will do, um, you know, uh, because this is about, so I'm going to go with green, and the borderline could be a darker green. So something like this will be the next um, above series and then I can go and choose the below series do the same thing um, select the marker size to be slightly bigger the fill this time we're going to go with um, a little bit of the red uh, and then the borderline for the marker I'll go with the darker red uh, the important thing here is we don't want the line so go back to the line option and say no line so that it is just a marker there we go so now we have above and below series in there. Now I can change the upper upper limit here. So if I want it to be 7,500, just watch out for these data points. They are going to not be green anymore as soon as I type this. 7,500, line moves, uh, upper limit moved, and the, the above series green colors were automatically updated. So this is how easily and effectively you can build the upper and lower limits for your measure. It could be sales, it could be whatever the metric may be. And you can visually show the user the points that are above and below. What I did was make it dynamic so the user can enter whatever those upper and lower limits are. And in business scenarios, your upper and lower limits can change. Um, so it's good to have that flexibility. And also, if you're creating this report and delivering it to somebody, they're going to enter this value. So you can make it a very good user experience where um, we can move all of these calculations to behind the scene in a hidden sheet uh, and then just have the chart visible to the user. So from a user point of view, they're just updating the values here and they see the output change. So this would be a very good effective way of presenting the data for your reporting, uh, which is interactive and dynamic and nicer to see as well and get a lot more insights very quickly without a lot of clutter. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you have any suggestions for a future topic for the video in this channel, please put them in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon in the next video.